Hey YouTubers, what's up? It's your girl Global Curls. Happy Friday! And since it's Friday, you already know the deal. It's Feature Friday time. That's right, every single Friday I bring you a brand new product on the market or one of my favorites that I have to have in my daily life. And that's the case today because today it is all about the art of bluffing. Yes, for those of you that constantly ask me, Adele, how do you get your hair so big, so volumized? Do I have to have this type of hair? Does my hair have to be really, really thick? The answer is no. It's all about the art of fluffing. So I'm going to stop talking at least about just the art of it and actually tell you the five things you can make sure to do or not do to make sure your hair is uh, fluffing correctly. Now, you already might have figured this one out, but the first thing you need to do is actually go out and buy a pick comb. Now, for those of you that say, I already have one, I already have a comb, there's a difference between a regular comb that you will use and a pick comb. Let me tell you the difference. So you guys know I love Texture Pro. They are a must have. This is the Wave Maker by Texture Pro. For those of you that enter my giveaway, then you already know how amazing these are. If you don't, please, please, please go visit Texture Pro because they're great. But there is a difference between just a regular comb and a pick comb, two different things. First of all, you can definitely see by the shape, they're completely different. This is a regular comb. This is a pig comb. The purpose of a regular comb, obviously, is to comb out your hair. Maybe this is the way you detangle your hair if you don't use a detangling brush, which is completely fine. But when it comes time to actually pick out your hair, using a pig comb is a lot easier. As you can see, it has a square shape, which makes it for easy access to get right at the roots, which I will bring up in a minute. Also, the handle. This is a lot. You gotta hold it like this, turn it, make sure the angle's a certain way. Not with a comb like this. The pick comb already has a small little handle just to get all the way up there to make sure you fluff out your roots as best as possible. So, not a regular comb. Make sure you guys have a pick comb. You can find this at your local beauty supply store or go ahead online and visit one of the online stores. There really is no set pick comb. Just make sure you go ahead and get one that looks like this. Okay. If you're like me, then you're a product junkie. And hey, it's okay, I'll admit it, I have no problems. I love my products. However, when it comes time to making sure your hair is volumized, you wanna make sure you apply not a lot of product to your hair. Now, stop and pause right now. I'm not saying don't use the curl strength. I'm not saying don't use your oils. I'm not saying don't make sure your hair is not working with the Curl Revive lotion spray. Make sure you stick with your hair routine. That's completely okay. Just moderate how much you actually use. Know that there are certain products that are thicker in substance than others. Make sure you know that if it's a thicker substance, you might want to use just a little bit less. Now, when it comes time to deep conditioning, you can use as much as you like. In fact, for me, more is better because I can really ensure that my hair is absorbing all of the nutrients, getting all of the goodness from the ingredients. However, when it comes time for you to use your styling products, maybe a curl cream, maybe a detangler, make sure you use moderate amounts. You don't want to wear your hair down. If so, then you're not going to get the fluff that you want. And that's why you're watching this video. So number two, don't use a lot of products, okay? Actually, hold on, side note, just remember this. When it comes time for products, some brands actually have what they call a volumizing spray or a volumizing lotion. Make sure you read the ingredients, test it out, and see because some of them actually do work and work wonders on your hair to make sure it gives you the volume that you desire and sometimes even a little bit more. So those are great too. Look for them and various brands have them. Just wanted to give you guys that little tidbit. All right, now we're gonna move on to number three. Okay, number three, all about detangling. Now, we all love to detangle. In fact, some of us have certain styling tools. I have my Texture Pro Detangler Brush, which I use all the time, and it's absolutely fabulous. Some people like to go ahead and use their wave combs or their fingers. But let me tell you something. Detangling is not just important to make sure you have great curls. It's also important when you're thinking about voluminizing your hair. Now, I don't know if voluminizing is a word, but I'm going to go ahead and use it right now. So if you're looking to have bigger hair, 
You want bigger hair, yes, but you don't want your curls to fall apart. You want your hair to be big, but for people to see your curls. So here's a quick couple of steps. First of all, when you're doing detangling or you're doing some type of detangling method, make sure you can see your curls. Your curls are locked. You can see this is my cute little curl pattern right here. Make sure you're, they're tight. Now this is four day old hair, so mind you that. But you can definitely see some of my curls are still intact, which is great, which is what you want. Now, when it comes time to volumizing, don't know if it's a word, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it. So what you can do is actually pull apart very gently a curl to stretch it out into two. See how I did that? Yes, okay. Now, be careful, you don't wanna yank apart curls. No, 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 that's not what we're here for. We're just here to volumize our hair a little bit. So go ahead, take it like I just did, pull it apart gently and slowly, and you can see two separate curls. This will help you maximize your curls and the definition in your hair. Got it? Okay, so we're gonna move on to step four. Number four, let's get fluffing, right? Okay, you have your pick. Now, what you want to do is focus on the roots. Again, I'm going to say this, the roots. Do not go to the ends of your hair and fluff it out. Not such a great idea. So what you're gonna do first, you separated some of your curls maybe, if you would like to, your hair is freshly detangled, it's dry, only, only, only do this when it's dry you guys you do not want to try to fluff while your hair is still air drying or you're, you need to diffuse afterwards no your hair needs to be 100 and i do mean 100 percent dry or your curls will not look good trust me i've done it before so roots you're gonna take your pick i'm bending my hair down you're gonna go to the roots of your hair the roots and fluff up now i always like to start at my bangs you guys can see my shape is a little bit different from some other people's so when you're talking about fluffing you really want to fluff in the areas you think need most fluffing most people concentrate on this part of their head and up hopefully you guys got that not the down part if you want to do the down part that's perfectly okay this is what you're gonna do separate so you can see your roots and go ahead and fluff there too now you can see I'm only doing it at the roots I'm not taking curls and scraping it out. That's not what you wanna do. You still wanna have your curl pattern at the end of the day. You just wanna have volumizing hair. So make sure you start at the roots, not at the ends. Now, I have to go ahead and stop here and say that sometimes, maybe just a little bit, I actually do at the ends, but it is only on my last day. So this is my Saturdays when I want my hair very volumized and I know Sunday is my wash day. So it doesn't really matter how it turns out tomorrow, but sometimes I just take a little bit and just gently, gently, gently and slowly volumize it out. Now don't do it like this. Gently, gently if you want the bottom. I don't recommend it unless tomorrow is gonna be your wash day, but just want to give it out there. All right, moving on to the next one. Okay, number five, leave-in conditioners. That's right, leave-in conditioner sprays that is. Now, when it comes time to go ahead and volumize in your curls, of course you want your curls to be volumized to look wonderful. Sometimes you also put oil in it, but leave-in conditioners are actually gonna be your best friends. Let me tell you why. First of all, you want your curls to be a little wet. Now, when I say a little, I don't mean go ahead into the shower, into your bathtub, into the pool, and then get out and try to fluff. Please don't do that, and if you do, don't get mad at me because I'm telling you not to do it right now. What I am saying is that sometimes when you want an extra fluff, your hair needs a little moisture and needs to be wet just a little bit. Leave-in conditioner's purpose is to give you the moisture, but to also make sure your hair is not just going to get fluffed out and have all of this dryness to it. It's going to moisturize your hair as much as possible. So basically, after you have your pineapple style down, whatever style you have in the morning, you're gonna spritz your leave-in conditioner all over your head. Not too much, just enough just to feel a little wetness in your curls. Take your comb pick and just fluff it out. And you go about your business. 
simple and easy. Now, I don't recommend using a curl cream or some type of thick substance because you don't wanna wear your hair down. Again, you don't wanna do that because your curls won't turn out well. You just want a light spritz, a light mist. If you don't have a leave-in conditioner, first of all, please go get one. Second of all, you can just use a little bit of water. And when I say a little bit, I mean put your hand under the sink, fling it out, and then just go like this. That's all you need to do. Do not soak your hair. Just take a little bit of water and sprinkle it all over your hair, and then go ahead and fluff. So I hope you guys like this video, and I hope it helps you out in the art of fluffing, because it's really not that hard. I just want to tell you a couple of simple things to help you get started. So comment as usual with your thoughts up below, and let me know if you have a favorite comb pick you like to use. Toodaloo for next time. Hope you enjoyed it.